Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today we are moving. We're what moving our is whole that house. Hair? This is the kind of hair that you get when you. Oh, I thought you tried to style it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. This is what I went to bed like. This is what I woke up like. But anyways, we're headed out. It was so funny today. What happened, Zoe? Zoe. Um, the guy was gawking. He was scooching. Because he wanted to get out, and I said, if you'd act nicely and say step up, then I will let you out. And he said, ah. So he was in his cage and he was squawking. He was uh, screeching to get out of his cage. And Sophie said, if you ask nicely, I'll get you out. And he said, ah, <laughs> really calm and really nice. And I'm like, you better get him out now. <laughs> anyway, it's true. We're moving to our farm. I think we're going to probably sleep here, but it's going to be a big, huge day. And first we're headed to the barn because um, somebody has a used blanket in really good condition and it's a good brand horseware. Somebody was recommending it to me. And, um, it's in Storm's color and I need to check the size. As so, long as it's waterproof. And yeah, other people are waiting for it. So yeah, we're gonna go and check that out at the barn. She gave it to us. Yeah, no, she, we have to pay. We have to pay. I know, she's letting us buy it first. It. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, yeah. Whew, let's get on with this day. It's so nice, you guys. So because Storm's been wrecking blankets like crazy, we've been getting, um, Anybody who's been selling used ones, we've been we've been scooping them up. This one has a, a neck. They're like cheaper and they're like here on. Yeah, it's nice. It's a bit I don't know if it's gonna be a bit big. It's a bigger size than he wears, but that's okay. Okay, do it up so I can see. Yeah. <laughs> it is cute though. It's really cold out today, too. Yeah, I like it. And we're back in red again. I can sew it. I have loops. Okay, try just wait. Do it up the waist so I can see if it fits them. You know when Stella isn't interested in me? And she slowly turns her head. Yeah. I know. Stella, hi. I like to quickly turn Aww. I'm going to take a picture too because he looks really handsome. It looks good on him. You can even tighten it a bit. Okay. So. All right. That is our new, newest new blanket. Another season we leave behind. Stella with carrots to come to them. You done? You mean, you mean I missed it? She she moved four feet. Six feet. You gonna try it again? You gonna try it again? Sophie, you gonna try it again? Oh, that's pretty good. Six feet better than nothing. So we have to start off with two feet, then four feet, and then we make so we back up while Stella's coming and give her a treat. Did you video that whole thing? I tried, but you guys were done by the time I got there. Uh -oh. oh. Are you happy that she's doing that? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then Sophia will have an extra treat to give Stella when she's in the cross ties. But then Stella will be like, okay. She's here, I need to come to her, and then let's go to the cross ties to get a treat. Yeah, good idea, good idea. I'm supposed to be moving, can't get the truck yet. Uh, there's a problem with stupid U-Haul. You, you um, book something, you go there, it doesn't work out. I have to use this app and it doesn't work for me. So I rebooked a different place where I can pick it up today, so. 
once we're done at the barn here, we're gonna go start moving. I've just been reading the comments and I realized that I didn't explain things properly to you guys, honestly. So basically when I said I wanted to retire Stella, I didn't mean like put her out of commission forever. She's an amazing horse. She has issues though right now and she needs to lose weight and I want her to have the time she needs to get better. That's all. That's what I meant by out of commission. I want her to still stay in light work, like be active and not lose what she has. Um, she's gonna heal and get better and we're gonna see how it goes and if she's willing and well, um, then we're going to have her trained professionally. Um, so she's trained by me. Yeah, and then we're gonna bring her back into work. I didn't mean like like throw her in a field and leave her there forever and just play with her um she's an amazing horse but if she can heal and get well and fix all the issues that she has then yeah we definitely plan to keep her busy and keep her going like she's amazing but yeah i realize i um made it sound like we were going to throw her in a field and retire her permanently that's not what i meant i think i misrepresented that i just meant like i want to bring her home and i want to fix all the things before we ride her hard again like and why sophie is not riding stella right now it's not because sophie doesn't want to ride stella it's because we're not letting her ride stella and the reason we're not letting her ride stella is because stella is a really responsive horse she's an amazing horse she's so responsive you guys if you could ride her i mean riding stella is amazing like you just think about doing something and she does it like that's incredible and that's why I love that's one of the reasons I love her so much is that she's so intuitive and so fast but we are beginners still and we make a lot of mistakes in our in our aids and in our asking for things and um, Estella doesn't know what we mean she just does what we ask her to and she's too much horse for us right now which is what happens when you buy a horse you like we're we need a safe horse and um, for beginners and she is not a beginning horse. She's not a beginner horse. That's it. That's and as a parent I'm not gonna put my kid on a horse that is way too much horse for her just because it's not safe and I need to keep Sophie safe So that's why Sophie's not riding her and I know a lot of people aren't gonna understand that and I get it But as a parent, I just cannot put her on a horse that she's not ready for like I just can't do it And she wants to ride her Stella wants her to ride her about this this yeah, like I'm not I can't do that. But anyway, we're home finally from the barn and we are ready Like I haven't even packed up yet. Like I gotta pack up my kitchen so we can move. Let's go. Let's do this thing It is hours later. I got my trusted friends here. Say hi guys Hi guys. Oh, and there's a crying boy. Why are you crying Jacob? Everybody wants to know. Why are you crying? No, no? Oh, our bird? You know what to do? You know how to make him stop squawking. You have to go say hi to him. Yeah, Jake is still a little nervous of our bird. But anyway, we're going over. The uh, Sam and all my kids have taken like two, uh, one load over to the new house. And, like that house can't fit more than one load, I don't think. Um, and we're gonna go over now. Are you ready? To, yeah. I said to Brooklyn this morning, wait till you see Nana's new house. And she's like, Nana, I already saw it. How did you see it? On my iPad. On her iPad. Did you see Nana's new house? No. Get your boots on. Get your boots on. I was asleep when he, when he was, I was watching when he was asleep. Yeah, so apparently she opened up her iPad and she saw her Nana's face and she's like, hmm, let's see what this is about. And I said to her, how much of the video did you watch? It was our farm tour. And she, she's like, oh, you watched three videos? I watched one when you were shopping. Oh, she watched the, our shopping one too. Must be weird though, like to turn on your iPad and no, see your Nana. Not. What else did you watch? Uh, oh, a shopping one and our house one? And you watched the whole video? Did you see Gabby try and kill me in my wheelchair? Driving me fast at the tax store, at the shopping store? All right, get your boots on and we're gonna go. Anyway, so it's true, we're gonna go head over to the barn, or over to our new house now. We're not gonna sleep there tonight because, it's, yeah, that's just too much, too much to happen. But we're then we're gonna go out for supper with all of our kids. Sorry, my coat is awkward. Yeah, let's do it, you guys. Let's go to our new house. All right, so we are here at the farm and um, so there's a problem with the water. It's getting a whole new water line in, put in tomorrow. So they're doing like a big, huge dig down there at the barn. Which is, yeah, 
Everything always happens when you move, right? The unexpected, at least the unexpected stuff. Anyway, I'm sitting here in the kitchen. I don't even know where the light switches are. Jeez, poor Jacob is feeling sick. Anyway, I got the fridge over here. Got the stove already in. Um, getting the the shelves into the cabinet. So it sounds like it's small, but it's actually not horrid. Horribly small. Like this room over here is going to be our office and slash my computer's finally going to get to sit in the room. Um yeah, so like it it's pretty big actually. Like uh I don't know how this is gonna work, but um I'm planning to put like a big long table down there and put our computers there. I might move that table down here. I don't know. It's gonna it's all gonna work out. We've got the blinds all ready to go. Come here, Jacob. Come sit with Nana. Yeah. I really want to go upstairs and see what's happening up there. Like, I feel like if I did, though, everybody would lose patience with me because it takes me so long and they'd all be freaking out and saying, you're going to hurt yourself. So it's just better if I wait till tomorrow. So tomorrow, the plumber will be here to fix that. It'll all be done. Uh, some little extra things we have to finish, like put the light switch covers on. But yeah, like guys, we are like so close to our farm. So I got a new carpet for in here. It's pretty dark. Where are but keys? yeah, this, Give me your keys. this is it. Okay, we're going. Here we go. All right, you guys, we are at um, out for for out for supper with the whole gang. Hi. Um, so three, Nick and Kyle and Kathleen all have a birthday in January, so we celebrate it. Well, Nick's birthday's right now, yesterday. Anyway, we're at this restaurant, and they actually have a Panzerati challenge. The Panzerati is so big that if you can eat it in an hour, they'll pay for it, and it's uh. $35. So uh, Gabby and Sophie got wings, but look at how nice they look. Uh, Gabby got wings. got wings. Brooklyn got wings. Uh, Sam got wings. Wings. And I got a Greek, Greek tacos. Like, look at that. That's so massive. That's tzatziki sauce. I love tzatziki sauce. I want to. I'll let you try my nachos if you let me try a wing. Are they hot? Mm. Try it, Nick. It's not that hot. I like it. Good? Really good? Brooklyn, what'd you get? You got wings like your aunties? She got wings. Guys, we are back in our old house. We're like house swapping right now. Anyway, we're back here because, like I said, we have some plumbing issues that are being uh, resolved tomorrow. Um, I guess at some point the water going into our barn, the water line going into our barn froze and so it hasn't been working and um, it's being repaired and the water to our house is being repaired. Somebody left these. Ow. Oh, yeah, we had a lot of people here today. My ankle brings her ankle. Oh, anyway, we're here. We're leaving again tomorrow. Um, it's gonna take us a while. Cinnamon mints. And they smell like cinnamon. Oh, wow, they are strong. Yes, anyway, uh, the girls are sleeping down here on Sophie's mattress. All the rest of our beds are at the new house. Um, I'm sleeping in my lazy boy chair, and Sam's sleeping on a cot. Strange. And tomorrow is like, this is it. So um, anyway, a lot of you guys have been asking in today's video, when are our horses coming to our house, to our farm? When are our horses coming to our farm? In a month. In a month? After we move. A month after we move. Right. You wanted to stay there. You wanted to stay in our barn for a really long time. Right. No, because show season. Right. I didn't want to, but. You wanted to stay at, today. yeah. That's new. Basically, the girls really love our barn and we wanted to stay there for as long as possible so we have no plans. Not until we get the new riding arena. Until we, yeah, we have no plans to bring our horses back anytime soon. Stella, as soon as we get, Stella won't even come back to our barn with us until we get another horse because we want to save our spot at that barn. So we're looking for a horse. We are, we are looking for a pony for Brooklyn. Yeah, like there's a lot of things that have to happen before our horses can come. So there's no, like they're not coming anytime soon, you guys. Like we have a lot of work to do on the property. Like I said, they're doing plumbing. They ripped up the whole ground. Like from our house all the way to the barn is torn up. So yeah, there's like a lot torn. to do. Torn. <laughs> There's a lot to do. But anyway, that is it for today. These um, are hot. You know what I want to do for New Year's Eve? Tomorrow's you New Year's Eve. We're going to be in our new house, and I'm super excited. You know what I want to do? I want to do a mukbang, but I want to do like a live 
um, a live video mukbang or something. Like, I, I wish you guys all could come over and just hang out and we could all eat a whole bunch of different kinds of food and um, just chat and stuff. So, I don't know. We might shoot a mukbang. It would be like our first one. Or we might do, if like our internet works out, like that would be my dream that we do like a live video at our new place. Would you guys want to do that? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They're dead. They're like, oh, I just want to sleep. Anyway, that is it for today. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Another season we